Hi there, I'm Mary and this is Let's Bake and Cook Stuff. Today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious goulash. Now this isn't the traditional Hungarian goulash. This I'm going to call American goulash or Mary's American goulash um, just because it doesn't, it's not made the way Hungarian goulash is made. But I am going to be doing that one coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. What we're going to start out with is on medium high heat, one tablespoon of olive oil or any vegetable oil of your choice, or you could even use butter. Another way this is not traditional is that I'm using impossible ground beef. This is plant-based beef substitute, okay? But if you are a meat eater, feel free to use a pound of ground beef or ground turkey or ground chicken, whatever is your favorite ground meat of choice. But this, I'm making vegetarian, so it's gonna use the impossible. This is a 12 ounce package and it's been thawed. This actually is bought frozen, so you do wanna thaw it out ahead of time. I have used it from frozen. I do have another video put somewhere over here um, where I do <laughs> I do use this and it's it, it's cooked from the frozen state and it's kind of hard to do it like that you can but they actually it even says on the package they suggest that you cook it from thawed one 12 ounce pack and you're just gonna break that up like you would hamburger and while that's cooking I'm gonna add in one chopped red bell pepper this is about one half inch chunk. This is one medium to large sized onion, also cut into about a half inch chunk. To this, we're gonna add one teaspoon of salt. This is actually pur purple sea salt. A teaspoon of black pepper, ground black pepper. Two teaspoons of, oops, <laughs> maybe a little less now. Um, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. One tablespoon of dried parsley. And in my opinion, what makes this goulash as opposed to just a pasta dish, the paprika. This is one heaping tablespoon of paprika. Four cloves of roughly chopped garlic. Stir that up. Once the vegetables have softened and the ground meat is brown, then uh, we're going to go to the next step. It's going to take about five minutes. Those veggies need to soften up a little bit. The Impossible Beef has browned up pretty nicely. Those vegetables are pretty softened. Give them a taste if you're not okay, sure. Now I want to add in two bay leaves. You can add just one if you want. Now I'm going to add a 14 and a half ounce can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. If you don't have fire roasted, you can use regular tomatoes. And one 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. Now I want to add about a tablespoon or two of sriracha. It, your hot, you can use the hot sauce of your choice or you can leave it out. Now I'm adding one and a half cups of vegetable broth. You could also use chicken broth if you're it's so inclined or you can use water. And this is one cup of elbow macaroni. Now let's stir this in and get it up to a boil. Now that we've brought this up to a boil, we're gonna lower the temperature to medium, and we're gonna let this simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes on medium with the lid on. Okay. And then we'll be back. And you wanna stir this occasionally, you know, every couple of minutes or so, to keep that macaroni from sticking to the bottom or from clinging to each other. This is what it looks like after all the ingredients have been added. Okay, so after about 15 or 20 minutes, this is what you're gonna get. Goulash. This is so good. A little bit of parsley just to make it pretty. Something that'll help cool this down. Just a little dab of sour cream. Completely optional, of course. This is such a great and inexpensive so, dish. It goes a long way. Serve this up with a piece of bread and a salad. You've got a nice inexpensive meal that's also delicious. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great day. You take care now.